first would be uh, to move. If you're not moving now, it's only going to get harder as you get older. And it's a, it's, a, it's a bad cycle to get in, not moving, and then you become frail and you can't move. So it's, you know, my father, I'll keep, give him as a good example. Um, he started going to the gym and, and running in his uh, early 50s. So, you know, it, he started pretty early, so he was lucky that way. But there are enormous gains, uh, even for people in their 70s, to start moving. And it can be as simple as going for walks, um, standing up, stretching, um, even lifting light weights is something that, if it's possible, start doing it because it's only going to get harder the older you get if you don't maintain it and start, make that a habit. Um, the other is, and I'm assuming we're talking about people who are in a healthy state um, and not frail. You know, it's very different if you already have a number of diseases, then that's important to consult your doctor as to what your body can handle. But if you're in a relatively healthy state, um, it's not just moving, it's it's also looking at the type of foods you eat and when you eat. So I've been very lucky to have converted to a plant-based diet. The rewards of that are just in Numerable. Um, and so I would say that if if your parents or grandparents are eating a Western diet that's full of inflammatory foods and processed foods, and if they're overweight, even worse, um, then steer them towards a, a much healthier diet. Also, if their body can tolerate it, um, three large meals is, un, is unnecessary for most people. And so my, what my father does is he skips breakfast and has a very small lunch and then has all his calories, most of his calories at night. Um, again, that's that's something that you should definitely start earlier in life. But I think in your 70s, if you're not frail, that's something to consider as well. But again, under uh, consultation with your doctor because everybody's different. I don't recommend anything, um, as I mentioned, but I, I, I've seen positive results in clinical trials of people in their 70s. Um, now, we don't know the, the long-term safety. Uh, we don't know um, if it might stimulate uh, cancer, this is one possibility that people bring up. But I've seen no evidence for that. I think that the risk uh, is very low and the reward is potentially very high. So that's the personal choice that I make and my, I know friends and family make. Uh, so what would I say about that? I would say that um, do your reading um, or you know get your parents to read. Uh, my book is a good start. Um, there are papers that you can print out that are free on the internet. You can give those to the doctor and, and have them weigh in. Uh, but what I find is with clients and with family um, and people around me, my circles, uh, NMN has been proven or at, at least is, is seemingly beneficial in terms of mental uh, and physical health. Um, that's being borne out in my lab um, and in clinical studies. Um, so I think it's, it's, it's a good option and it's also one of the, the few safe molecules, apparently safe molecules out there um, because it, it's actually natural. And the levels, what we're trying to do is just replace what's been lost in terms of its synthesis with age.